Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dom and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing something with you guys that you probably won't believe. In fact, I didn't even know this until earlier today when one of my friends told me about it. So I did a little digging and found that there are actually vehicles in the game that are slower than being on foot. There are a few vehicles in the game which are so slow you can actually run faster than them. Now, running is pretty slow as it is, so it's pretty crazy to think that there are vehicles in GTA 5 that are not just slower, but considerably slower than if you just ran. So, as you probably already know, there are plenty of slow vehicles in the game, including the Fagio motorcycle, the dump truck, the Journey motorhome, the airport tug, and the golf cart, just to name a few. And those are just the land vehicles. Now, before we get into things, I want to give you guys the opportunity to place your guesses as to which vehicles you think are slower than running. So, leave a comment right now. Pause the video if you need to, just comment with vehicles that you think are slower, so we can see who guessed correctly. And I'll give you guys a hint. There are actually more than one. Okay then, with that being said, let's get straight into things. Okay guys, to start things off, the first vehicle isn't currently available in GTA Online or to find or purchase. It has however been in the game since back in day one in 2013. This vehicle being the lawnmower, which I'm sure you've all had the opportunity to use in some online jobs, missions and races with friends. But the lawnmower still isn't something that's made an official appearance in GTA Online free mode. You can however find it in story mode between the hours of 8 and 10pm on the golf course. In fairness, the lawnmower is pretty useless, which is probably why it hasn't and never will be a vehicle you can buy in GTA Online, but it's still pretty cool and would be awesome for a novelty purpose if it would at least spawn in free mode as it does in story mode. I remember back in the early days of GTA 5 on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, people had managed to bring it into online using glitches, share it around with it using the garage storage and duplication glitch. Anyway, but most importantly, the lawnmower is unbelievably slow, with its top speed of 20 km an hour making it slower than running. Now to show you guys just how slow it really is, as you can see in the gameplay we performed a drag race between a lawnmower and a player running on foot, and straight away upon starting the player takes the lead due to the lawnmower having a pretty poor acceleration rate. Even after it gets going its top speed is still below the regular player's top running speed, meaning it stays behind and never catches up. In fact by the end of this painfully slow drag race, if you can even call it that, the player who in this situation is chaotic, is ahead by several seconds. So the lawnmower is the first vehicle confirmed to be slower than just running. But surprisingly, the lawnmower is not the slowest vehicle in the game. That's right, there is a vehicle even slower than the lawnmower. That vehicle being the bulldozer. I'm actually pretty surprised by this, I'm not even sure how many of you guys knew this, but the bulldozer is officially the slowest moving vehicle in the game. So it's even slower than the heavy cutter, which you can't even drive up hills because it's so slow and underpowered, or the tugboat, which is painfully slow at the best of times, although we did test it, and the tugboat is only just faster than a person running. Anyway, but whereas the lawnmower wasn't officially available in online, the bulldozer is. You can't purchase it and own one as a personal vehicle, but there are various spawn locations where you can find one. The bulldozer is capped at a speed of 15 km an hour and weighs 20 tons according to the GTA wiki. Now as you guys can see in the same drag race with the bulldozer against a player running on foot, the bulldozer is even slower. Very quickly the person running leaves the bulldozer in the dust. Literally, it's so far behind after just 30 seconds, it's pretty clear that the bulldozer is the slowest vehicle in the game by a mile. And by the time the person who is running reaches the finishing point in the drag race, the bulldozer is just over halfway. Now although I've sped up the footage of the drag race, it took the player just 1 minute and 49 seconds to run the track. Whereas it took the bulldozer 2 minutes and 34 seconds, which is a rather significant difference. To give you guys an idea of how slow this really is though, the 811, which is the fastest car in the game, can do this in just 20 seconds. 
But there we go then guys, so there are the two vehicles in GTA 5 which are so slow, they're slower than running. Typically, for example, if you wanted to drive from one side of the map to the other in a supercar, it won't take you much more than a few minutes. But if you were to run it, it would possibly take you at least two hours to run from one side of the map to the other. Imagine trying to do this though with the lawnmower, where you should really hate yourself and fancy wasting several hours, try doing it with the bulldozer. If anyone does fancy giving this a try, you're more than welcome to, and let us know in the comment section or by tweeting us if you record any gameplay. The question is though, did you guys comment correctly earlier on in the comments when I asked you to comment which vehicle you think is slower than running? If so, well done, give yourself a massive high five. Nevertheless though, both the lawnmower and the bulldozer are awesome novelty vehicles, so despite them from being incredibly slow, they're still cool with the bulldozer being my favourite. Who doesn't like just driving around and picking up other cars with it? Anyway, but with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. It would be greatly appreciated if you guys could leave a like on this video as it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to Chaotic already, then please do, because we upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 videos. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.